discuss your uh, information on SPLOS. We discussed SPLOS somewhat earlier, uh, but Chad is going to go over with you where we are now. Um, I believe that is SPLOS 7. Yes, sir. You're going on SPLOS 7. Yes. Mike, your SPLOS 7 information is behind Chapter 4. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to go over is the SPLOS 7 facility list. Uh, just a reminder, this was a 11 project list with one of them split into two. Uh, we're getting very close to being complete with this list. Uh, and we'll kind of go through each one of them, give you a quick update. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, the first one is the Naylor Bayroom. Uh, since we met last time, we did start work on it. Um, the construction crew for Public Works. We've got the new driveway built per DOT standards. The road going back to the parking lot is built and the parking lot itself is built. Uh, we were actually fixing to start the ramp when uh, the storms came through, 12, 14 inches of rain uh, there in the 1st of December. And since that time we have not been able to get back in there because of the river level is so high. Uh, but once we do, we're ready. It's going to take about two to three weeks tops to put the ramp in. And we'll be done complete with that project. Next is the, uh, of course, the Freedom Basketball Court. That one's been complete for a few years now. Uh, still getting great use. Uh, the Civic Center is complete. Uh, Naylor Community Center. Uh, we did complete this since our last meeting. Uh, the building turned out to be great. Uh, I haven't heard any negative comments from the community or from Parks and Rec. Uh, did you have? Yes. Uh, and we've had to do some, some warranty work in there, but nothing major. The animal shelter renovations. Uh, since we decided to go back with the new building, we went through, since our last meeting, we went through two concepts, and right now we're on our final one with uh, McCall Architectures, Architects. Uh, uh, Paige and I and uh, staff at Animal Shelter, we really nailed down how everything need, needed to flow at the new Animal Shelter, uh, what was best for the staff, and of course the animals. And uh, within the next two to three weeks to a month, they will start getting construction documents ready. Uh, we see an early fall bid letting on that for construction. Uh, right now we're estimating three million. Three million. What about what, what's the estimated operational cost I guess for building that size? I um, don't, with, based on what she has, we don't see a, we haven't talked about it, I haven't. But we haven't seen, I don't see a need for additional staff. Uh, Pace might can communicate that better. We, part of the problem that we have with the current building is that it was just built for space to house animals, not thinking about things like workflow and, and how to, to best utilize your staff. So this has a separate area for the officers as well as the job adoption and the shelter staff. So I think that we should probably be okay with that. I think it'll be their days will be much more efficient. Um, I think there's probably going to be some cost savings in chemicals and supplies. Um, there will be an increased operational cost simply just because it's a bigger building. But I don't think that we'll have a lot outside of regular facilities maintenance stuff. No plan to increase it at this time. But the benefit there is um, <clears throat> it will really get us under the roof that they need to be able to meet the request that we've heard from citizens as far as a better adoption facility and, and environment for that. Um, but it leaves room for growth. So we moved the, fo the footprint from what we initially looked at um, into kind of a, a, a T style eventually that will for now be an L. Um, and if there was ever a need to build another wing off the back to complete that T, the county already owns the property to do that. Um, and this will totally do away with that building that we're in now. I think that the chairman, especially and Commissioner Orenstein, looked at the, um, the the structural engineer information we got on that, and there's just nothing salvageable out of that building whatsoever. Will that new building go right there? Will it be demoed? And then go what, our, what our plan is to 
the way we have it currently laid out is the new building will be built in an L shape. So it will go down the west side of the existing <coughs> building and then to the rear of the existing building. Or the railroad track. That way we do not have to stop any operations in the existing building while construction is going on. Then we can do the move and then phase two would be to demo the existing building. And the L there would be like a fence. Then the L would turn into run yards yeah. for the animals. Yeah, it's pretty much just electricity probably. Just That's correct. Yeah, just larger than we're building, but we're, hopefully it's more efficient yeah. with it being new than what we have today. Okay. Any questions? Um, the library renovations, that has been complete since last year. Um, everything went great there. The library is happy. If, I encourage if you hadn't been by there to go by there. It turned out really nice compared to where they came from. I was in there a few weeks ago and it's absolutely amazing. I mean, the staff is happy. To, there was, ch I mean, I was surprised. There were children everywhere. I mean, I, I expected to walk in and I'd be to an empty library. Honestly. But I mean, it was. Yeah. It, I have heard a lot of, as well, a lot of positive com comments about. Uh, the new library as much as anything, the flow and how it can be utilized, uh, the computer rooms, uh, so it, 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 it was well thought out and well done. It's a very efficient space. Yeah. And Red Owl has a coffee location there if you've not been in. Yeah. Red Owl's there. Okay, okay. Well, thank you very much. The evidence storage building for the Sheriff's Office, of course, uh, Sheriff Paul could ask us not to pursue a new building there. They did make some uh, changes of their own with staff and part of the old jail where, where they're storing their new evidence storage uh, well into an older part of the building so uh, they did make their space larger that way so you could say then that the evidence is locked up yes sir <laughs> literally uh, fire rescue uh, this is the last couple of projects we've got uh, building out a drafting pit. Uh, staff is in the final stages of designing the, the actual pit, which is basically a large septic tank with baffles and, and pumps on the top of it. Uh, we've completed the build out of the classroom and the training room. Uh, this year we'll be moving the uh, training mobile home off the site. Uh, completed North Lounge addition. Uh, we are 90% complete at West Side. Uh, we will begin Naylor just as soon as West Side is complete. Uh, east Side, uh, Add and HVAC has been completed, and South Side has been completed with the addition of the bathroom. Uh, since our last meeting, 911 had uh, additions and security upgrade has been completed. Uh, they are very happy with their space. That's another one that's very impressive. The staff seems to be so much happier. I haven't been out there along those lines. I haven't been, had the opportunity to go out there. Could we possibly put together maybe an event where the commission could go out there and tour that new facility? Since Chad tells me they're ready. Danny Weeks said there was something coming up as far as the community. Okay. He may be trying to put something together. Mm -hmm. I saw it a month or so ago. You go out there and go out back and look at the uh, generator. Okay. Huge. I'm sorry. So anyway, that's complete. Uh, I think uh, one of the things that we added was were new consoles for all the dispatchers, and, and that's really made the dispatchers' job a lot easier and more comfortable since yeah. they're there 12 hours a day. Yeah. Uh, courthouse renovations. Uh, the committee has just finished up all the interviews with the uh, shortlisted architects. Uh, the selection is on your February 12th meeting agenda uh, for the selection of the architect of that building. We, we currently have two million. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Five million. <laughs> Uh, we, along those lines, we know that we allocated $2 million in spot 7 for the renovation of that courthouse. 
uh, there's no doubt in our mind that it's going to take more work to renovate the courthouse than two million. So there will be a need in Splas Eight. What, what what I foresee is once next week, one of the first things we'll do is we'll start meeting with the architect and um, based on the architect selected, we can go through and start some preliminary programming. And based on their experience and them reaching out to other uh, firms construction wise, we can hopefully come up with a good number, you know, of additional money that we will need. So before spot state referendum as well. We have a pool going as well. <laughs> no, well, we have a poll going whether or not it's going to be eight or whether it's going to be ten. So anybody who wants to um, to pick, let me know. I told the press a while ago, probably between eight and ten. So maybe we'll have to commit to the lower to the high. <laughs> the uh, the LPRA soccer complex. Uh, that is well underway. All the fields have been brought to subgrade. The detention ponds are built. Uh, they have started the foundation work for the buildings. Uh, and we expect to start coming out of the ground with the buildings uh, probably by the end of the month or the first of March. Uh, then starting in March, they will, the athletic fields builder will come in to start finish building the fields and then we'll start getting irrigation done and the field sprig for spring and summer growth. When do y'all think? Their uh, contract time was August 29th. Uh, they have had about 30 to 40 rain days since we've let this project. Uh, but they're still shooting to be done by the end of August. Uh, they have those rain days that need <coughs> But they're not slowing down. But, again, ha I haven't been on the site, but looking at that site, that where you can see it, it looks like it's working well. Though. It looks like it cleared well. It did. And it's and not a bog pit. Now that they've got it where you can get in and out, uh, I believe Paige and I and VLPRA will be scheduling a groundbreaking because now you can get in and out without a four wheel drive yeah. vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and, but it, it, so far, it's going real well yeah. with all the rain we've had. That's right. And of course, the Miracle Field. Uh, this is a larger project, but our part was in the Miracle Field. The Miracle Field is 100% complete. Uh, the total project is about 95% complete with the other fields and other work that VLPR, VLPRA was doing. Uh, if you haven't been out there, go by there and see the Miracle Field. It's, it's pretty neat, pretty amazing what they've done. Uh, I believe the LPRA was starting a playground out there today as well. They've been trying to get volunteers to go out there and help. <laughs> they got a ribbon cut soon, though. I think it's March 1st or 2nd. Second. Second. Belinda just sent us an invitation to that. Facility projects. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so.